GitLab recognizes that each of our users have unique needs to meet compliance standards. Therefore, a set of controls, settings, and workflow enforcements are provided. You can create a compliance framework label to identify that your project has certain compliance requirements or needs additional oversight. Under General Settings, I can find or apply the compliance frameworks this project must meet. In this case, we see this project has applied a tag with SOX. How do we configure this framework? Well, a group owner can create, edit, and delete compliance frameworks. In general settings of the group, we can add or edit frameworks. Let's edit the first framework. Here, group owners can specify the location of compliance pipeline configuration. This pipeline defines compliance requirements such as scans or tests. Going back to our main group, we can see GitLab has applied the tag we defined in the compliance framework. When compliance framework is applied to a project, it automatically applies sensible default settings to that project. In this case, we can see the mandatory security scans that have been enforced for this project. And whenever a pipeline is run or code is committed, the jobs defined in the compliance framework pipeline will be executed in the project. On top of the compliance pipeline, we can also manage license compliance and search your project's dependencies for the licenses. You can then decide whether to allow or deny the use of each license. If your application uses an open source library whose license is incompatible with yours, you can deny the use of that license. With GitLab, compliance teams can be confident that their controls and requirements are set up correctly and stay that way.